Hello everyone and welcome to the Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. Uh, we are back with our previous series which we left. So this is a third person inspection with UI series and this is a requested video of how to make a zoom system. So as you can see if I inspect it I can inspect it right. If I scroll up and down my mouse button I can zoom it like this. You can change this zoom's width value but okay. And you can do this with every time and every single value. So if this is then I can zoom it with this one. Also I can zoom it with this guy. So as you can see. So today we will make this. Okay so let's do a first recap. So if you go in the items in the master object whenever we interact with some item uh, I will simply close all the things. in here so whenever you interact first we are checking if we already inspected that item or not if it's true then we don't want to inspect it if it falls then yeah we want to inspect it so for the inspection part we were spawning a studio actor and then we were doing the inspection on that studio actor right so all the inspection were in the studio actor so we have to code that thing in this one we close this one there is a studio actor which will handle the inspection part with UI so it will simply renders the target and it will render to the UI part so as you can see first it is inspecting and then all the things right, like creating the inspection UI then getting the render opacity one and all that all right uh, there is a mouse left button so that I can rotate there is a mouse X and Y for up and down and left and right uh, same with keyboard but with less speed and there is a mouse wheel up uh, if you don't know this mouse wheel up what does this do uh, this will simply do the letters part so if I have letters and letters can contain more than one page like uh, this letter then it will simply scroll with mouse wheel button so this is why i have coded this if you don't know then you can check out the letters part you can click on this i button all right but if you don't have this then what you can do is you can right click and search for mouse wheel button so mouse wheel, mouse wheel down mouse wheel up so i already have uh, done this so mouse will down which is same as this so i won't gonna code this here so i will simply just go in and for this reason i will simply unconnect this disconnect all right now for the zoom part what i need so if you remember we have a camera that handles the rendering part and we have this field of view this field of view can determines how much view it should render so we can change this field of view so if it's greater than 90 then it means zoom out if it's less than 90 that it means zoom in so we'll simply grab this camera and get field of view fov field field of view right fov angle and what we need to do from this one this camera i want to set a field of view so we will get and we will add the plus and the minus so we'll control w to duplicate that so for the mouse wheel down this would be the target would be go in the camera part so for the mouse wheel down what i need to do i need to add the plus value and for the up one i need to add a minus value so i will add a minus float and i will add it to here for the plus part i will add the plus and i will add it if you if your computer uses inverse axis then you can do this reverse order right all right so as you can see now let's check it out so this is my guitar i can zoom it yeah then it is working fine 
I can rotate it. Yes, but the problem is, as you can see, there is no end of zooming. <laughs> so we need to change this. We need to set this to an end. Yeah, this is the limit of our zoom, right? Uh, so let's first promote this guy to a variable. I'm gonna call it uh, zoom speed. And I will add this to here and compile and say by default the zoom speed is 1. So if you go 0.5 then it will slowly fade out. Alright. And now we need to clamp these guys. So if you use and search for a clamp, clamp axis not clamp float this. Way. So you have a minus and plus. So if this value is greater than maximum and less than minimum, it will simply set to the minimum value of it. So this is what a clamp do. All right. So what we gonna do? We will simply gonna add this return value in here. And for the clamp value, the minimum value I get is 47 and maximum I get is 105. So this is the best value of an angle I got. I will control W to duplicate that for this guy also. So minimum is 47 and maximum is 105. And I will hit play button. So now if I hit E as you can see it is not zooming out than this limit. So this is my end limit. So this is what a clamp do right. Now we have simply disconnected that the letter word so you can attach it and if you want to code it you can code it it is a simply this one all right so this will work for this one also not this one this letter part so this is how you can do a zoom so this is all for it now so thank you so much guys for watching and bye bye